show you to I'm learning this from uh, from Captain Fury making a vlog while you're driving <laughs> it's not going very well I think I have to make some kind of a, a stand for my camera because I do a lot of thinking on the road and right now I hear I'm listening to the radio and listen to CBC radio again but the thing about it is is they always talk about uh, jobs and I was listening to 1500 because I, I listen to Coast to Coast Dam and, and I turn on in the morning and they have uh, Joe Susri on there who's about as clever as a picket fence really I don't know how he's got a show but I'm so pissed off at 1500 from because they canceled Mishki Tommy Mishki had a good show called the Mishki Broadcast. Excellent. And I don't know, he was the only thing, reason to listen to them other than their piped in nationwide syndicated show, Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie, which I also listen to. But they're always talking about jobs at, on the political aspect, like this person from the 6th District or whatever, and down by uh, Cocado in Wright County. That they, they want people to get more jobs, and I'm thinking, wrong, I've got a new government. A new government, I've spoken of it before. The odd number of regents, and then the bureaucracy, and uh, the same template can be done with state government. They'll have an odd number of regents elected for life, and then the second level of government will be the bureaucracy of people who are hired by the regents. And the regents will not be paid for their services. They will just be compensated for the time they're away from their business. Because usually these people will be drawn from people who are already successful and know how to manage large-scale operations, okay? So there's going to be experience involved in electing a region. And they'll be elected for life, and they won't even have a full-time job. They'll only come into effect when there's something, a problem. And one thing about this, we got to get away from our economy, that you got to depend on somebody to give you a job. People got to understand they've got to come up with their own job. I want, I'd like to get back to an agrarian economy because that should be the core. That's the core of economies around the world is an agrarian economy, really. Because sure, they get subsidized by the government because they're trying to up their production, produce their own food. Most of these agrar uh, most of these people are uh, are peasants. They just they're on subsistence. They're like gypsies that wander, but some of them don't wander. They st stay right there, and uh, they grow. They live off the land. And what's wrong with that? That should be the core of our economy. And once in a while, they do some commerce because they have a good year and uh, they expand a little bit. And just think of how, to, to the level of what's been lost here. Now in this country, take a look at what we're doing. We got these huge fields. A lot of stuff is uncultivated like this. It's just a, I don't know, but then this. But there's a lot of CRP, reserve programs. But they don't even touch that land again. Shouldn't they cycle it through? This land here is in production. But it's in production off of a farm program, and everybody knows that the farm programs are a big fat cash cow, really, and they're just kind of a component to to build inflation. So the banks will have a, have a someone to loan, loan loan money to. It's a it's a cultivation factor. They're cultivating a market for themselves. These big elite, the power elite directors in this world, they've got us by the balls. There's a field in production. This one field is a hay field. It's not growing right now. And here's a buffer zone at Droy's. But I'm going to a job right now, and I just had to say, like, if you're worried about somebody find, giving you a job, you'll be a waiting individual is what you'll be. The economy is changing. People have to be innovative right now. I just see, see that? There's a big, fat Roseau Electric Cooperative going to switch out poles that are just fine because they got to keep their guys working full-time. Maybe they should let some guys go because I'm paying way too much for my electricity. And I, I don't think they got anybody good on the 
that can actually uh, stand their ground and speak well on the Rosa Electric Cooperative. So I may have to show up to some me meetings and, and put the scold on people. And, and let me assure you, I will do that. This is Augustus Lurch.